Welcome back. Today we are talking about task management for iterative projects in Obsidian. The examples I'm going to give today focus on content creation, but this could be for anything that you could use a template to keep track of. My goal while researching this was to figure out how to best do this in Obsidian because a lot of the examples I saw were done in Notion and I wanted the local files. To make this all work, you're gonna need two plugins, the Kanban plugin and the template core plugin or the templater community plugin. But we'll talk about that after we talk about Kanban. So after you've installed the Kanban plugin, you wanna create a new Kanban board. You can do this by holding control or command on Mac and pressing P and just type in Kanban and you'll hit create a new board. Once you've done that, you'll get a screen kind of like this and you can enter your lanes here. Let's just say, for example, that I'm going to do to do, doing, done. This is a really classic Kanban type setup. Once I've done that, I can go into this done and I can click the options here and I can hit edit and I can say mark cards in this as complete. So the idea is you'll create a card, test card, and as you're working on it in various stages, you can move it across. Once you move it to done, it will auto mark complete and you can then archive that at your leisure. This is really simple and some people really like this format. I wanted something with a bit more lanes. So this is what I've come up with so far. I'm primarily focused on YouTube videos, but I'm also looking at doing some writing as well, which I may end up including in this same list. Everything that I come up with for a video idea is gonna be listed here in ideas. In the idea phase, this is really just, hey, this would be cool to make a video about. I'm not sure if it's gonna work out yet, but this is my idea so far. So let's say I'm gonna add an idea for a video about Vim. So let's say we've added Vim. Once I'm actually ready to start doing research and start making notes about it, I'll move it over here to the planning phase and I'll click more options, new note from card. Once I've done that, it'll come up with this new note here that I've created a template for, which we'll take a look at in a moment, and I'll have all of this information. I've tried to divide this up in a pre-production, production, post-production, post and then some other areas, which we'll get down to in a moment, but these are things that I like to think about and take notes on as I move along. So it'll be things like questions I need to research, questions I may want to think about. This may be something where I might want to give a use case about, as opposed to just something necessarily that I need to look up how to do. Then I'll get to titles, because titles are really important. And I mean, I feel like there's a very obvious title here, because why not? Then I'll get to thumbnails. And because thumbnails and titles are really important on YouTube, if this is something where I'm not quite ready to make the thumbnail, then I might just want to comment about concepts that I have. But once I'm actually ready to start making the video, the thumbnail and the title are really where I want to start because those will direct how I actually try to do the script and all that. But ultimately, this is just things that I want to think about as I'm getting ready and planning the video. I've also created a Vim script page right here this would be where I would go and add the script for the video. Notice over here on the left under scripts, I don't have a file there yet. That's because this is not actually created until I click on it. So if I don't want a script for this video, I can just highlight this and delete it. But in this case, for our example, I'll click this so it creates the script and I could add a template potentially here as well. It's not as easy to do the template and I'll show you why in just a few minutes, but this is just something where if I had particular notes that I wanted to make, I could do that here. Or if I had a script I wanted to read out like my video essays in the gaming channel. So once we're through production, we'll get, or pre-production, we'll go to production. And again, it's just things that I thought would be helpful. Post-production is again, same thing that I thought would be helpful, publishing and then feedback. And that's kind of the overall idea I have for a single project. I'm still refining this template and I'm still kind of working through what all would be helpful here. Back in our board, once I've done that planning and I'm ready to start scripting it, then I'll move it over here to scripting. I'll add my script, so work on that. Then I'll move it to recording. And once I'm done with the recording, you know, it's obviously time to go to editing. And I just keep on moving it over to the right. And then I'll move it over here to complete it and it'll auto complete in this column because of my settings. Speaking of settings, there are a global list of settings for Kanban boards, but if you go to the individual board and click open board settings, these are actually specific to this board. So if there's settings you need to override for this board only, you can do that right here. The majority of these settings are really personal preference, but one thing that I found really helpful is the note template 
I personally like to keep these off in their own folder, so I wanted to set up a note folder, but the rest of these are, are really just kind of what you want to do. There are a couple of other ones here that I will note. For example, right here, link dates to daily notes. We're gonna take a look at what that looks like momentarily. And then down here at the bottom, you'll see I wrote channel and then channel. That's what it's actually gonna show up as, but this is a special tag that I'm adding in my metadata and I'll show you what that looks like here. So if I go back into Vim and I add a new piece of metadata, front matter. So if I go and do that, and then go back to my Obsidian demo. So you'll notice here, I have a new area under this, just says channel and then Vashinator. That helps me keep track of which one I'm actually working on. It could be helpful in the future if I'm trying to add in like written content here and I wanna keep track of, okay, this is a video versus this is a written article about the video. I'm kind of thinking ahead and trying to play with that and see what works best for that. But I just wanna give examples of what was possible. Let's say I also wanted to go and actually add a date to this Vim video. If I press a space after our closing brackets and hit at, it's gonna bring up a date picker for me. So let's say that I wanted to post this Vim video on April 2nd. It'll add that in and if I press enter, it'll bring that up. Since I've added that daily notes checkbox, if I click this, it's gonna bring me to my April 2nd, 2022 daily note. And here's where I've added that reference to Vim. So it can be really nice if you use daily notes a lot and you're really trying to look for that and you wanna keep track of that. One other thing that I'm thinking about potentially adding is the task plugin. And then for example, attaching these two particular due dates in the task plugin. And that could be really helpful. And then you could also use like your calendar over here to keep track of that. I haven't done that yet just because I want to play with this template a bit more and this system a bit more just to see what I feel like I'm missing. So speaking of that template, I do have a separate folder for templates and it's right down here. And this is the one I've created for this. So this is pretty straightforward. I have a link back to the actual Kanban board. I'm populating the title. So whatever the title of the card or whatever the card is, is what this is gonna say. And then the rest of this, uh, and the same here for the script, it just goes a particular folder and then title script. And then I just have it saying title script for the actual wording there. I'm gonna keep playing with this because again, I think there's some things that I can do to make this flow better and just be a better template for me, but it's just gonna take time refining this. So I really wanna live in this for the next few months and kind of update this once I've got to that point that I've really looked at what I need to add. So let's take a look at some settings for the templates just so that you have an idea what this looks like. It's really simple. You just tell it what folder they're in. And then once you've actually got your Kanban board set up, you can either set the template here if you're not planning to have other boards or if you have the same template across multiple boards, you can do it here. Or you can go and do it in each individual board depending on how you wanna handle that. And the same for note folder. So one other plugin that I really like to add is Quick Add because I find it really helpful and I'll show you what it does and momentarily, but this is actually really easy to set up. This is what I, I created, it says add idea. It actually talks about how to do this on the GitHub page. So don't worry too much about what this looks like here. So it's, it's telling me where it's gonna add it, which is uh, my Kanban demo board. And it's gonna create a task. It's gonna insert it after my level two heading ideas. And then it's gonna insert that at the end of the section. You can do some other things here depending on what you're what you're ultimately wanting to do, but I'm gonna link the GitHub page and it'll talk a little bit more about that. What this allows you to do though, is if for example, I'm on today's daily note and I'm like, I have an idea for a video, I really need to add it. If I press control T, I can click add idea and then I can say a new idea. So now if I go back to my Kanban demo board, I have a new idea added right here. And you can set that hotkey up by going to the hotkeys and just searching for quick add and then run quick add. That's what you wanna set up. But I just thought that was really useful to be able to just say, hey, I need to add an ID to the board without having to come over, open the board and do it that way. One other plugin that I really thought could be quite useful that I haven't actually installed is the homepage plugin. So installing this, uh, and then enable and options. So you can actually set a specific homepage and add a ribbon icon. So if you wanted your Kanban board to be the first thing that comes up, you could do that and set that right here. And you can go and set these options as you wish. 
Another thing that I've been thinking about are data view and then the meta edit. Meta edit will update your front matter information. So with the right setup, you can actually have it so that when a task in on the board switches lanes, it will update your metadata on that. So that could be really useful to use that and then pipe that into a data view query so that you can actually have that in other pages. If you have a landing page where you have a lot of other information, that might be something where the meta edit and data view could be included to actually show the cards from your Kanban board. There is an option to view your Kanban board. You go down here and you look here, you can say open as markdown and it'll open it like this. So there is an option you could theoretically embed your board in a page like this. I mean, it, it is what it is. It's not something where it'd be super great in my opinion to view it that way, but that is an option if you just want a quick and dirty way to look at that. And then the last plugin that I would recommend consideration for is the task plugin or the checklist plugin. Those are what we talked about in my basic task management video. The reason being is that if I wanted to go in and track these particular tasks, like the thumbnail, the title, the research, and I wanted to track those or add due dates to them or something like that, I could go in and do that with the task plugin easily and then use a query to find those. I could also, you know, more easily link these particular sections to daily notes. Same with checklists. It just depends on which way you want to work. I think those could be very helpful to you. I haven't done it yet just because I'm not too focused on deadlines right now. And ultimately, I'm tr still trying to understand the best way to make this work for me. As I refine this more, I'm going to look at potentially doing an update in the future, but I'm going to have to live in this for a little while just to be sure that this is how I want to keep doing things if there's something major I'm missing. If you have any other ideas about how this could be improved, please feel free to share because there are still a lot of plugins and things like that that I'm just not as familiar with in Obsidian. So if you know another killer plugin that would be an awesome addition for this, or if you can think of another workflow way to do this, I'm all ears. But this is what I've come up with, and I wish I had the camera running when I was playing around with this, because once I actually got this all to fit together, like I just had this grin on my face about about this, because I've been kind of looking for a way to do this for a while, and I couldn't find anything out there quite like this that really went into detail about how to do this. That's why I wanted to put together this video, because I think this is going to be really useful for me just for keeping track of some things like that I might forget otherwise. But uh, hopefully this has been helpful to you. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I'll be glad to see if I can answer those. Ultimately, I think this can be a very powerful addition to my content creation workflow. Uh, I think this could be a very powerful addition to any kind of iterative project workflow. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.